53. And breaking news today from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. A new study indicated autism may be more common than previously thought. And on your side, Jen Holloway joins us now with the new numbers. Jen. Well, Josh, the study reveals a very significant increase of children being diagnosed of being on the spectrum. The Centers for Disease Control now estimates one in 59 children being diagnosed as on the autism spectrum. That is up from one in 68 just a few years ago. It is a neurodevelopmental disorder. Um, we are seeing that we can start to see some genetic um, linkages to that. We're still learning more about that. As this CDC graphic shows you, the numbers have been rising for years. So you will see things like hand flapping in certain individuals. You'll see children who are very overly sensitive to sound, to light, to crowds. The numbers are based on groups of eight-year-olds living in 11 states. I think children were probably being misdiagnosed then and really belonged in what we now know as the autism spectrum. However, it continues to prove that we have so much more to do as far as research and learning and education to really help best serve this community. Diagnosing autism earlier in childhood allows for access to needed services. If that's something that they're craving or not receiving enough of. Still time to join the team for Autism Speaks Walk. It's coming up this Saturday, April 28th at 9 a.m. And News Channel 8 is a very proud sponsor and partner with the Autism Speaks organization right here in Tampa Bay.